So I'm in the Simpich home today, and this is one of our many English corners. This is a very special one to me. We have a painting here that my dad did of Westminster Abbey, and he presented that to Debbie and me for our wedding. Debbie and I met in England, so it's a very special painting to us. We have it here along with my Mary Poppins wall. And I have a lot of other Mary Poppins collectibles, but this is the, the really special stuff. I have a lobby card, an actual lobby card from a theater that was showing Mary Poppins, probably back when it came out in 1964. And I have a special limited edition print. And I have some uh, a picture of the bird woman, Feed the Birds, Tuppence a Bag, my favorite song. And another portrait of, of Julie Andrews playing Mary Poppins. And I have one of the known three Simpich dolls portraying Mary Poppins. And there's quite a story behind this. Uh, so the movie came out in 1964 and it was my first movie and I honestly wish I had a better memory of seeing it the first time, but it certainly made an impression. I was obsessed with Mary Poppins. And uh, for the next five years, I was obsessed with Mary Poppins. And so in about 1967, when I was six in kindergarten, my parents thought it would be a really special thing to work out a Mary Poppins birthday party. Now they had a doll customer that came to the house and her name was Madge. And she bore a slight resemblance to Julie Andrews. And because of this and the popularity of the movie, uh, she decided to do a little side business of going around doing birthday parties dressed up like Mary Poppins. And she'd come in and surprise the children and do a little, a little magic show and, and discuss. She would know things about each one of the kids at the party, you know, like maybe like what they uh, uh, forget to, to do with their chores at home or some special thing they don't like to eat or something. She'd find out these things and come and do birthday parties. Well, mother thought that was a wonderful idea to have her come and do a birthday party for me as a surprise. But there was another part of the, of the surprise. Uh, mother and dad decided to make a Mary Poppins doll for me for my birthday and also give one to Madge Narcissian who was portraying Mary Poppins. And she was very excited. And now we knew, or my parents knew at the time, that they would not be able to put a Mary Poppins doll into production because of the copyrights. Disney owned the copyrights. That was a complicated thing. They couldn't touch putting this actually into their, their collection of what they would sell. But there was nothing to stop them from making some one-of-a-kinds or maybe three of a kinds. So they prepared a Mary Poppins doll for Madge Narcissian. Another one for my Nana Nick, of course. She had to have a collection or, you know, a, a one of every one of the dolls. And then one for me and I knew nothing about it. And then on the day of the birthday party, we, were, we had like maybe 15 kids there and Mary Poppins walks into my birthday party. And I was speechless. And uh, she, she knew that I always lost my shoes on Sunday mornings but when, we, when my parents were trying to get to church. She knew that. And she knew something about every one of the kids at the party. And she did a little magic trick with her umbrella. She pulled something fancy out of her bag. And then she went down the stairs and disappeared. And you know, we were all certain, or I was certain, uh, that uh, she flew away with her umbrella. My life was changed. And the next Monday at kindergarten, we had a sharing time. And I shared with the class that Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins had come to my birthday party. And that I got to have a Simpich Mary Poppins doll. And I couldn't tell what the kids thought. Um, I was excited. I was excited for months after that. Years. Uh, I remember that day after my little announcement to the class. Uh, we had recess and a little boy out on the playground came up to me and said, 
that wasn't the real Mary Poppins that came to your birthday party. He was kind of short, he had freckles. He probably could have beat me up though. And uh, I said to him, yes, she did. And he goes, no, she didn't. I said, yes, she did. And I kind of walked away. <laughs> and then I was thinking, he's right. My parents didn't get Mary Poppins to come to my birthday party. They got Julie Andrews. And that was even a bigger deal. So I went around for three years thinking, Julie Andrews had come to my birthday party. Now, some years later, my parents went ahead and told me the truth. It wasn't Julie Andrews, it was Madge Narcissian, who was one of the other proud owners of a Simpich Mary Poppins doll, and that was okay. But I tell you, I sure felt loved on that birthday. Oh yes, yes. This is my Mary Poppins uh, collector book. I had this during this same period of time. And uh, you know, back then, you couldn't actually uh, see the movie like we can now. Our granddaughter, Mary, absolutely loves the original Mary Poppins movie and she watches it on Disney Plus like maybe three or four times a week. I would have loved that, but I had to see it one time every four or five years. And if it hadn't been for this book, I probably would not have known the story as well as I did, and I probably would not have known um, the, I uh, uh, wouldn't have loved it like I did. So this is, this is uh, uh, still from that period of time when, uh, when the movie came out and my family got this for me. So there you have it. <laughs>